Welcome everybody to the Felix Black channel here on YouTube. We're gonna be going through the Bosque de Zambrano here in Comiagua, Honduras. I found the attendant, he opened the gates up for me. I'm not gonna tell you how he did that. That's between, uh, yeah, anyway. But yeah, it's empty, there's no one here. This is like a photographer slash videographer's dream. So I'm gonna go check it out. I actually thought it was closed, but it's actually open, but it's been officially closed since 2020. Let's go check it out. Listen to the sloshing of my shoes. Slosh, slosh. Approaching the hotel. Go take a look, see. I wonder if it's haunted in here. If there's any ghosts. That would be interesting. Definitely recommend you guys come check it out. It's a lot of overgrown grass. I don't know, it's just a different feel type location. So the, the hotel is empty. There's nobody here. It's just abandoned ever since COVID in 2020, which is wasted because look at this view. It's crazy nice. This is a photographer's dream to have, you hear that echo? To have an empty building, which still has a, like a lot of the, the former shell on it. So it's not like completely gutted out. I'm gonna have to come back and do like a photo shoot or something. Like this is a legit it's ping pong tables, foosball tables, pool tables. And it's all just abandoned, not in use anymore. Look at that. They got a pool area. The pool is empty. Well, one of them, they have two of them here. Look at that empty pool. Basically, there's nobody here, so I got free run in the place. How amazing is that? Got like a basketball court, whole gymnasium. Oh man. I have to do a House of Villains photo shoot out here. Boom. Empty pool, look at that. I could literally Take pictures here all day. Look at that view. I've been shooting footage. Just footage. Like it's too good not to, uh, like not to record in here. Look at that. There's a couple people showing up, but I've been here for about an hour, like by myself. So this is one of the other pools. The outside pool, as you can see, that's definitely uh, dirty and not worth getting into. But look at that setup. You can still come out here. You can still bring like your grills. You can still barbecue. You can still do everything you need to do while you're here, which is amazing. You got like an outdoor restaurant, grill setup area. Let me know it's not in use anymore. And that's the view. I wanted to make sure I record and let you guys know, like this is a, an absolutely nice location. It is run down because it hasn't been cared for because of COVID, but you could still, as a photographer, having an empty abandoned hotel with a pool and a view 
it's just it makes for one of the best locations I've visited since I've been here as far as for photography wise able to like capture photos the rustic the if you want to do a photo shoot here it'd be absolutely amazing um, if you know what you're doing obviously but yeah I just wanted to tap in a little bit let's continue with the tour so this is gonna be outside across the street from the actual hotel they have a lagoon area, a lagoon, lake, however you want to phrase it. So let's take a walk to see. So my, this is the ASMR portion of the video for those that you know, like the crunching of leaves, grass. So this technically was the parking lot area of the hotel. Resort, campgrounds, you know, however you want to phrase it. Behind the trees, you can see pavilions where people can barbecue, could barbecue, can barbecue, have some sort of picnic. The only problem is, is the grass is high, so I'm not sure if you know, families would come out to actually use it. Um, when I was leaving the hotel, I did see a group of people pulling up. Uh, I don't know how many people it was, but... People still come up here uh, once they figure out that you just have to talk to the caretaker in order to get it open. But people still use it. I actually think if you wanted to bring like your own equipment and cut back some of the brush to clear an area for, say, like a party or you know just for a family outing, I think that would actually be pretty cool. No one would argue or complain about you doing that and you would pretty much have the place to yourself for the most part it's a very nice location for those that like the outdoors outdoorsy type Trying to get a little cinematic views. That streak of light right there. Oh. definitely a lot of nature sounds here is the I, I would say like the silence is deafening but it's actually not it's actually really peaceful it's really quiet um, yeah I mean I, I can't say enough I feel like I'm saying the same thing over and over when I talk about the location but it, it, it definitely is it has the potential you know hopefully somebody comes back and purchases the land and brings it back to its former glory. I don't know what it looked like before. Uh, I can only imagine how nice it was. Because it's still relatively nice. Understanding that it's been closed for three years.
<laughs> Almost fell, y'all. So here's the lagoon. It's uh, definitely not a place you want to go into. Looks like just stagnant water. But, you know, there is a water watering place. I don't see any fishes. Oh, fishes, I'm sorry. Any fish or anything? Nothing jumping up out of the water, so. Oh, there's a nice path back here. Let's see what they got. Part of the scary movie where we always ask the question, why are you going in there? This is pretty cool. It would be better if it was a little bit more cleared. I'm getting whipped. Jesus. Sticks, killing me. Jesus, right. All right, we made it out, y'all. It's all good. Cool. Back on the path. Uh, just looking around to see if I can see anything else off in the distance. This is actually a very large location, so this is not even uh, not even 30, 40 percent of it. I'm not sure how far the campgrounds extend. Very picturesque. Nice views. Nice mountains. There's a broken down train with the train station. All right, let's head back to the hotel. Uh, let's run it up real quick. That's it. Walking around the grounds, we saw the Laguna. We saw the hotel. Uh, we saw that little that little bamboo path that's out there. That was pretty cool. I don't know how far it leads, but we, we're not gonna go very far in there. So yeah, Bosque de Zambrano. I'm I'm absolutely gonna come back. I feel like I can do a photo shoot here of some sort. Um, maybe some House of Villains gear or something like that. 
but it being pretty much empty to other people you just have to get here at the, the right time this is actually holy week here in honduras so there's a lot of people that's at the beach and on vacation so i don't know how it would really look like during the week but uh yeah bosque de sobrano here in honduras felix black y'all know what we doing traveling house of villains give the video a like and subscribe if you haven't already all right thank you